Hey, so if you're getting ready to get your first PR campaign done, um, there's just a few points I wanted to address that are going to set you up properly, right? First and foremost, I think, is the idea that if you want to grow, you know, you're going to get a lot of value out of having a few basic things because it's going to mean everyone has an easier time working together, right? Um, the basic things that you want to have include, um, probably most importantly, the music properly put together and tagged and organized in a way that makes sense so that people can kind of tap into it and grow, you know, using that. Have all the track listings there, have all the metadata in there, just because when bloggers download, they want it to be easy, right? Then otherwise, um, important things to have are a couple good band photos. I actually recommend having four good horizontals and four good verticals. Uh, once you have that, you're a lot more likely to get placements everywhere you want. Um, and then beyond that, you know, um, having the album art done, having the album art in a high res format, having it in multiple formats if need be. You know, because again, you want to make it as easy as possible for the journalist to cover you. I think that's where a lot of artists fall down. They think the journalist is, you know, desperate to cover them. But like, I'm a journalist. I, I cut out a lot of what I get and I get hundreds of shit, hundreds of, hundreds of fucking promos a week. Right? So think about that. You know, you aren't special. You want to be able to differentiate yourself from the whole faff of everyone else around you. So keep that in mind as you're putting this together, right? So, okay, so music, art, photos. Um, beyond that, having a good bio put together is really, really, really essential, even if it's just a paragraph, just so that people can have some idea, you know, because like, as a journalist, I don't really want to have to do a bunch of Googling about you. I want it to be in the press mailer, all the cool facts, you know, and make sure that every cool fact is up and available. People don't really need to know like all the individual band members' names or the time you opened for some B-level band, like unless it was big for whatever reason. You know, people don't need that. But what people do need is was someone else was someone in this band in a different notable band? What other cool achievements have you had? How many tours have you been on? Where are you from? You know, just give people a strong rundown of where you're coming from, what your vision is, what your direction is. And that's going to, you know, give people a clear idea of how to grow with you. You know, it's gonna give people a clear idea of like this is how we expand, this is where the next steps are. And if you have a clear positioning, you know, and so you can tell the PR person, this is how we want to locate ourselves in the grand scheme of things, this is the story we're trying to tell, that's just going to make it easier because then they can target relevant people or tell people, you know, even if it's not in the initial mail out, you know, you can tell people, oh, cool, this is how we do it. This all being said, um, one important thing to know is always try to check the press release or mail out release before it gets sent just so that you can make sure it's all up to your specifications so that something you don't want is that you maybe that was miscommunicated doesn't get um, sent out to the masses uh, and just double check every aspect asset of that that's just a final key thing to make sure everyone doesn't have a stressful fucking day anyway hope this made sense take care